So why do people love the movie WALL-E? Why do I love it? Why do you love it? I assume you do because you clicked on this video. Well, even if you don't, there's several mysterious moments in WALL-E that don't seem to fit into the plot. In fact, they have nothing to do with the plot whatsoever. Have you ever noticed, for example, that in the middle of the movie, WALL-E and Eve dance in space and purposely break off from solving any problem enhancing the plot or making the story go on. In fact, the movie just stops in the middle of the movie for Wally and Eve to dance. Although this scene is delightful, what does it have to do with the storyline? There's several other elements like this in Wally. For example, when a robot pauses to think about whether he should continue going along the lines on the floor or to jump off the lines and scrub Wally's filth that he's left behind as he's gone down onto the spaceship. In fact, there are several other moments where characters are going along the lines and then they veer off and, and do something else. What does this matter? Why are these elements in Wally? Hey, drink the butt. Here, take the cup. Hey, take the cup. Ah! Well, let's think about this pretty carefully. In most animated movies these days, there's a hero figure who's different from the herd, from the masses, from the large group of characters featured in the movie, and that's no different in Wally. Wally is an idiosyncratic individual. He's strange, he's weird. For example, he's, he doesn't follow his programming all the way. He likes to sift through garbage, collect particular pieces that are of interest to him, and hoard them. <laughs> He's a collector, and when he gets onto the spaceship where the humans inhabit and they do the same thing each day every day, and the robots keep them doing the same thing every day, Wally goes onto the ship and creates a nice form of chaos. <laughs> Wally is weird and different. He doesn't follow rules. This might be what makes us attracted to him. In fact, later in the movie, he befriend, when he befriends Eve at the beginning of the movie, and then later in the movie, Eve has to make a choice about saving Wally, she chooses not to follow her programming. She, in fact, does what Wally has been doing the entire movie. She chooses to save Wally instead of take the plant that she's found uh, and has been thrown away back to the captain of the ship. So what does this mean? Well, for the plot of the movie, it means that the movie itself doesn't have to follow a linear plot. The movie can, like Wally, -E, veer off course, jump off the line, do whatever it wants. For example, this. <laughs> Wally is saying we all need to be unique individuals who need to do our own thing. Now, we need friends, we need to love other people, we need to help other people, and we need to help save the Earth or restore the Earth and be stewards of the Earth. After all, one of the main ideas in this movie is that humans need to go from the spaceship far removed from the planet Earth, return to the Earth, and replant the plant that Eve brings to the spaceship and cultivate the Earth, clean it up, Simply follow this manual's instructions to place the plant in your ship's hollow detector, and the axiom will immediately navigate your return to Earth. It's that easy. Yeah. Now so Wally enables the humans to figure out that they need to go back to Earth. 
The humans need to be more like, in fact, the insane, crazy robots that Wally breaks out of jail. Do you remember in the movie when Wally goes into sort of this insane asylum, this jail, he's he's thrust into a prison cell, and all the robots are just doing crazy things. You look gorgeous. <laughs> well, by accident, Wally breaks them out, out, and then later in the movie, these crazy robots actually help Wally save him and really they help all the humans become the humans they ought to be no longer are they controlled by robots by the autopilot that red-eyed monster of a robot who's controlling their lives no the humans are now in control of themselves by the end of the movie when the captain switches the ship from auto to manual it's a symbol for the humans not being controlled by their stuff or by their machines but controlling their machines taking charge of the lives having free will and choosing freedom wally is the one who brings that about and those crazy insane robots the idea is that we all need to be idiosyncratic individuals weird different unique strange and that that sort of diversity of individuals in a group like the insane robots will help humans return to the earth and when humans return to the earth that's what they ought to be they ought not to be part of a giant corporation all of the same mind all wearing the same clothes all doing the same thing day after day after day after all wally is a movie that argues creativity is a necessary part of human existence now that might be why wally and eve dance in the middle of the movie they don't do things as they ought to they don't just follow a plot they actually break off of the plot and they do something really creative in the middle of the movie i think that's why wally likes the movie musical hello dolly the movie musical in fact is played almost throughout the entire movie wally hears it he sees it and he's inspired by it And guess what? The movie musical is, in fact, an art form that makes Wally do something different. Now, that's one of the main messages of the movie, that the Wally the movie is inspiring us, like Hello Dolly the movie inspired Wally, to do something different and strange. Now, strange is good in this movie, and we shouldn't be like the giant corporation by and large, which controls the earth, pollutes the earth, leaves the earth behind, and then creates a utopian-looking colony, but it's actually pretty terrible because all the humans grow fat and ugly, and they stare at screens all day long. We shouldn't just follow giant corporations blindly. But, on the other hand, when the humans return to Earth, they form their own sort of collective or corporation. It's just the kind of corporation, like I think this movie is arguing for, that cares about things that are organic, the things cares about the earth itself, stewardliness, ecology, eco-friendly sorts of things. That's one thing this movie is arguing for. It's not anti-corporation in the sense that it depicts by and large as this huge, horrible, negative corporation that destroys the earth. No. In fact, it wants us all to go back to earth as a giant collective of diverse individuals, a bunch of wallies, and doing our own thing, and yet we're together making our own stuff in a body or corporation. Farming! You kids are going to grow all kinds of plants. Vegetable plants, pizza plants! <laughs> so Wally is championing the unique individual. It's also championing that we should be returning to the earth and loving green things. Hint, ecosystems, ecology, environmentalism. And it's championing the idea that we need to have unique friends who make us better and, and and more enjoyable individuals and we need to be part of a team in a way this movie is not unlike later movies and even earlier movies that came before one of those being the lego movie be different be unique but be part of a team is the theme one of the themes of the lego movie this is the case in wally now wally is weird though and as i've argued not just the character but the entire movie 
How is a Wally weird? Well, what's the genre of the movie? Think about it for a minute. It's a post-apocalyptic animated musical. Can you think of another movie that's a post-apocalyptic animated musical? I can't. So, Wally itself, as a movie, is a unique individual made by a par corporation, part of a giant corporation, <laughs> that in fact is a symbol for the character itself, or the character is a symbol for the movie itself. It's a really interesting dynamic. There's a second part of this movie that's really interesting. It would seem that this movie is about humans needing to get away from the machines that control them. For example, the autopilot is a nefarious sort of robot. He's controlling, he's manipulative, and he's trying to keep humans on the spaceship. This is all bad and wrong. Humans need to get away from the autopilot. But, on the other hand, it's not just humans who are saving the Earth, who are returning to Earth, who are doing weird, wonderful things. It's also the robots. In fact, Wally and Eve are the two robots who spur humans on to return to Earth, to choose freedom, and to enjoy their lives in a different way than they did on the spaceship. What's going on there? I mean, in fact, aren't Wally and Eve robots? Is this movie about us using robots for our advantage? Yes, in fact it is. So Wally and Eve, who are they? Well, Wally is an industrial worker. He's a rugged, tough, filthy robot. He gets the job done. He's a trash compactor. He moves things around. He's a construction worker. What's Eve? A sleek, modern, uh, sophisticated, Apple-looking device. She is she's beautiful, but but deadly, you know, and then you put Wally and Eve together. What are they? Well, we need a construction worker and we need a slick tech worker. We need these two and not just workers as these robots aren't just symbols for humans, but we need two kinds of robots to help us return to the earth. What we don't need is HAL 9000 from 2001 A Space Odyssey. HAL 9000 is autopilot and the autopilot is trying to stop all humans from returning to earth as we said. So you don't need that form of technology, that form of robot that controls you. What you need are robots who are part of the team. Those would be Wally and Eve. After all, they are the ones who choose to help humans. They help us choose to go back to Earth. Wally and Eve are part of humanity. They're technology necessary to help us become environmentally friendly. So this movie is not just about machines versus the earth. It's not just about humans forsaking machines, leaving them behind, leaving their technology behind to go be environmentalists. Nope. This is a movie about humans becoming stewards of the earth with great technology, like Wally, -E, unique, interesting, uh, rugged, and can get things done, with Eve, sleek, sophisticated, and modern. Those two robots are what are going to help us as humans in the real world uh, become better stewards of the earth, become better environmentalists. So the next time you watch this movie, look carefully for all these themes. The idea that Wally is idiosyncratic, weird, and interesting, and that's something the movie promotes. The movie promoting creativity against doing the same thing day after day. And the other thing is that we need technology to actually help us restore the earth and make it greener and to clean it up and to get rid of pollution. Wally is a very sophisticated movie then. It's not just a children's movie, it's a movie for everybody, and it might just be a movie for all time. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more great content and analysis, and have a great day.